Hey guys, today we're going to talk about indifference curves, which is a very important concept in the theory of consumer behavior. So I'll define it and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. It's a preference over a set of bundles that leaves a consumer equally happy. So you should remember, uh, well, it has the word indifference in it, so you should remember the concept that we've talked about in the last few videos, which is what it means for a consumer to be indifferent. Again, if you're not comfortable, pause this video and go click on the link on your top right and then come back to what we're going to talk about here. So in today's video, all we're doing is we are looking at a, a diagram or a graphical representation of all the bundles between which a consumer is indifferent or we are equally happy. So if I have two bundles, x1, x2, and then uh, another one, uh, let's say x11, x21, so don't look too much into this. If we are looking at two bundles A and B, uh, for, we are going to look at all the bundles across which we are going to be equally happy and we are going to represent that graphically. Right? So the space that we are going to use to graph this is something that you should be familiar with by now is you have x1 or the units of good 1 on the x-axis and the units of good 2 on the vertical axis. So think about what you have already drawn for which we have used this space. You're right, we've drawn budget sets using this, this uh, space here. So we'll get back to that later on, but today now we're going to look at consumer preferences and how we can represent that on this graph. So again, make sure that all the bundles on an indifference curve is going to leave, leave us indifferent or equally happy. So when I'm drawing the shape of this line, uh, we are going to assume that every bundle on this line is going to leave me equally happy. So what you should remember is that as I'm getting more of x1, you have to give up some of x2 to leave you equally happy. Or if you're getting some more of x2, you have to give up some of x1 to leave you equally happy. Otherwise, if that's not the case, then we go back to monotonic preferences. Again, if you're not sure about that concept, uh, click on the video uh, link on the top right and review that as well. Monotonic preferences means that I prefer one bundle over the other. Bundles being indifferent means I am equally happy. So I'm going to just draw it out and then we'll talk a little bit about it. If you are equally happy between all bundles, the indifference curve that looks like this, so this is one example of an indifference curve, is going to look like this. So let me uh, put some points on here and we'll talk about it. So let's pick some bundles, bundle A, uh, bundle B, and then let me pick bundle C here. So let's say bundle A, you get four units of good two, and you're getting one unit of good one. And then on bundle B, you're getting two units of good one, and you're getting only three units of good two. So you can see if on this indifference curve, you're equally happy between every bundle, which there are infinite, infinitely many bundles on this line, we're just looking at two here. If you're equally happy, as you're getting some more of x1, you must have given up some of x2 because you're equally happy on every point on this line. All right, so then if you pick any point on this line, you will see relative to any other point, you're getting some of one of the goods, but you're giving up some of the other goods. Now let's compare that to bundle C, which is giving you this amount of x2 and this amount of x1. So if you compare bundle C to bundle A, you're going to be, you're getting more of good 2 and you're getting more of good 1. So obviously, you're going to be happier on when you're consuming bundle C relative to bundle A. And if you compare bundle C to bundle B again, you're getting more of both goods relative at point C or at bundle C than at bundle B. So you're going to be preferring bundle C also to bundle B. So we can put it, put it together that bundle C is preferable to this consumer over both bundles A and B. But between A and B, the consumer is, is indifferent. Right, so make sure you understand that on an indifference curve, every point leaves the consumer equally happy. Any point outside the indifference curve is going to leave the consumer happier than any point on the line. And similarly, any point inside the indifference curve is going to make me less happy than A or B. Right? So make sure you understand, indifference curve is just a graphical representation of what it means for the bundles to be, uh, for us to be able to substitute between bundles and leave us equally happy. Now we are just graphically representing that information. And then eventually, we'll be able to put this along with the budget set together to complete the model. 
So what I didn't talk about this, which we'll get into the next video, is why did I draw this line to have the slope? So in the next video, we will talk about the slope of the indifference curve and why it's curved the way it is. So make sure you understand monotonic preferences, uh, being indifferent between bundles, and what an indifference curve is before we get to the next video. All right, see you then.